hello everyone in this video we will try to find the limit of a sequence and we will try to discuss is that sequence is increasing or decreasing so we have given a sequence we have a sequence that a n sequence a n is root over 2 n middle bracket in middle bracket root over 2 n plus 1 minus root over 2 n and uh, we want to find the limit of the sequence a n and next we will discuss about increasing and decreasing of the sequence so how we will find the limit of this sequence so to find limit we have to do some manipulation so let me write that uh, another term that is a n equal to uh, root over 2 n root over 2 n plus 1 minus root over 2 n so below that we know you know denominator is one so we need to be rationalize it so how we will do this so we can write this as 2n and uh, this is 2n plus 1 minus root over 2n multiply uh, root over 2n plus 1 this is 2 minus root over 2n so this is upon this is root over 2n plus 1 plus this is plus here so this is 2n so we can write it as root over 2n so this portion is like a plus b bracket a minus b it is minus so which is equal to a square minus b square so so here is the same case and the square uh, root bracket uh, this root will cancel so it will come 2 n plus 1 minus 2 n this is upon root over 2 n plus 1 plus root over 2 n so observe that we can cancel it here this 2 n this 2 n so we can cancel it like so next term we can write it uh, like this this is 2n and this is cancel out then this multiply become 2 here so this is 2 and this is root over 2 and plus 1 plus root over 2n now so this is our a n nth term so to find the limit this is limit n goes to infinity a n equal to so next uh, next what we will we can do we can uh, divide uh, with the root over 2 n so let me write that as what we will do this is 2 n and we can take 2 n as a common from denominator so we will get that root over 1 plus 2 upon 2 n and this plus 1 we, we will get and this limit here limit n goes to infinity so we can uh, we can cancel it out this here so we will get this limit n goes to infinity u and this is 2 upon uh, root over 1 plus 2 upon 2n and this plus 1 and we know that this term this term that is 2 upon 2n and when we will take limit and as n goes to infinity this will become so we will get the limit of this term is 0 so let's put here so what we will get then then we will get 2 upon root over 1 plus 0 plus 1 which is equal to 2 by 2 which is equal to 1 so limit of this sequence is actually 1 now our next question was is this sequence is increasing or decreasing so how will uh, we we will decide that this so we know that a sequence said to be increasing when we will say let let we have a sequence we have a sequence an so how we will decide this sequence is increasing and decreasing so what is the definition definition is that if an plus 1 is greater than an for all n belongs to natural number.
this is the case this is greater or equal to case so this is the case for increasing if sequence this sequence an has this property then we will say this sequence is increasing now uh, a, uh, this sequence is said to be decreasing if an plus 1 less than or equal to an for all n belongs to natural number this is the case for decreasing so observe we this term we can write something different also uh, this these two terms how for increasing case for increasing case we can write it as a n plus 1 minus a n is greater or equal to 0 for n belongs to natural number so and for decreasing case this should be less than or equal to for n belongs to natural number for this is for decreasing so so from here we can also do for our sequence and uh, our sequence is a n equal to uh, root over 2 n root over 2 n plus 1 minus root over 2 n so as we have manipulated here so we got the last term is 2 2 into 2 n upon root over 2 n upon this is root over 2 n plus 1 plus root over 2 n so our sequence and sequence is this also this is the same so what will be the a n plus 1 so a n plus 1 will be 2 root over 2 n plus 1 upon this is 2 n plus 2 plus 2 this is 2 here this is n plus 1 so to decide increasing or decreasing we need to be right like this a n plus 1 minus a n and if we suppose we got this is greater or equal to 0 then we will say our sequence is increasing so let me write our this term a n plus 1 so this is equal to uh, this is 2 root over 2 n plus 1 upon root over 2 n plus 2 plus root over 2 n plus 1. This is our a n plus 1 and our a n is minus. This is 2 root over 2 n upon root uh, this root over 2 n plus 1 plus root over 2 n so now what we will do we have to do some uh, there is some kind of arithmetic so what we will do now we need to take like this this is root over 2 n plus 2 plus root over 2 n plus 1 this is 1 and this is another will come 2 n plus 1 plus root over 2 n so here now this will we need to be multiply here so let's 2 here from outside make it here outside 2 and we can write like this so this will become uh, this is 2 time here so this is will become n plus 2 time n plus 1 and next is plus this is 4 n n plus 1 now this side is this will be multiply here so we will get here uh, this is root over 4 n n plus 2 minus 4 n root over n plus 1 so what will be the next then observe this we can cancel it here so we will get 2 time this is 2 n plus 1 minus we will only get in 4 n 
n plus 2 and denominator is this is the same as this one so now what we will do so observe here let's take this this is 2n plus 1 minus 4 4n here 4n n plus 2 so this we can write it as 2 n plus 1 minus root over 4n square plus 4n sorry 8n here is 8 so this we can write 2n plus 1 minus this is 4n square plus 8n so we can add 4 and subtract 4 also this will be not effect this will not affect any thing for this terms so we will get 2n plus 1 minus root over this is 2n plus 2 whole square minus 4 this inside we will get this will become square so or or we can write it as 2n plus 1 minus this is root 2 uh, yeah this 2 n plus 1 this is whole square and this 4 so we obtained here this term and observe this is always greater or equal to 0 but the question is how so observe here that 2 n plus 1 this term is always greater than or equal to this 2 n plus 1 minus 4 or other word we can say also write this this 2 n plus 1 whole square is always greater or equal to 2 n plus 1 whole square minus 4 right so now if you take both side square root so this term is positive always so we will get that this this now let's take this square both out both sides so we will obtain this n plus 1 this is whole square is always greater than still uh, will not affect on the inequality here so we will obtain here n plus 1 and this whole square minus 4 so observe that this term become this without the square so this we will obtain this and this is always greater or equal to this term this expression minus 4 so that means this is always greater or equal to 0 now also observe here all terms in denominator all are positive that means this whole term or let me write in a simple way that our final term for a n plus 1 minus n we will obtain this 2 into this bracket middle bracket 2 n plus 1 minus root over 4 n 4 n plus 2 uh, upon uh, root over 2 n plus 2 plus root over 2 n plus 1 in one bracket this is for a n uh, a n plus 1 and this is for a n this is root over 2 n plus 1 plus root over 2 1 2 n so now as we have ever seen that this portion is greater or equal to 0 this and denominator everywhere is plus sign and n is positive number so this portion is always positive 2 is a positive number that means this portion is greater or equal to 0 so that means our this a n plus 1 minus a n uh, greater or equal to 0. So, this is the case for increasing. So, our sequence is actually increasing sequence. Thank you.